video, we're going to see one of the most common mistakes that practitioners do when performing ephemeral nerve block. In fact, the best way to perform ephemeral nerve block is to rely on the fascia iliaca and inject local anesthetic between the two layers of the fascia iliaca rather than around the nerve. Let's see this. So here we can see this appears to be a femoral artery and it appears to be a, a nerve. However, the fascia iliaca is here and it's not there. Therefore, likely this will be the nerve and we're going to test it with our nerve stimulation. So, good. Stay there. Good. So clearly, That's the nerve the is actually not what we thought it was, but it's much more lateral. And here you can see how nerve stimulation actually can be very useful, particularly when you're trying to determine if the structure you're looking at is in fact a nerve. By eliciting a motor response, you can be 100% certain. Injection, you can see how the nerve is being pushed away. The nerve is to the left. Advance your needle. Advance your needle. Lower the needle. That's good. See the needle one more time. Here's an example of a failed injection or injection that is being injected in the wrong tissue plane. And you will see also the recorrection maneuver where we place the needle through the fascia iliaca in order to envelop the femoral nerve. And it's only when the local anesthetic pushes the femoral nerve to safety away from the needle with the local anesthetic that we know that we have accomplished our goal with the femoral nerve block, which is injection of the local anesthetic and the sheet that contains a nerve. Let's see this. A minimal pressure. Don't advance the needle. Just leave it there. Your nerve is to the left. That's your nerve right here. Okay. We're going to do another five ml. There we go. That's a good image. Done. And that was a video on the most common mistakes when performing femoral nerve block, including how we fix the mistakes and how we can use nerve stimulation to make sure that we're blocking is a nerve. Again, you don't need a nerve stimulator to perform an ultrasound guided any or femoral nerve block, but when the anatomy is questionable, difficult, or in particularly when you want to avoid the needle nerve contact, we use nerve stimulation routinely. And here you can see how useful it can be.